all right in this video apostle Arima Osai Leviot how Boko Alam attacked our crusade team in Taraba what happened we shock you all right over to you sir that's the first thing he would do I have no power of my own I have no power of my own. I confess. Holy Spirit, I have no power of my own. We went to Taraba to preach the gospel. Our team that went ahead of us with equipment, with instruments, God, they were waylaid by the bandits, by Boko Haram. Took their phones and wounded one of our brethren. And the news got to us in the, in the prayer room. Thank God, nobody lost his life. Our medical people on the other side took him. He had to, they had to stitch the place. The next day, we moved. After the first night of the crusade, there is this armored cable that we normally use. 750,000. Somebody came and stole it. I now went to God at ACO. Our team was coming for crusade. Huh? Are you with me? How much did we spend? About four million. Four million. I think more than four million. But it cannot be less than four million. Okay. The reason why we went there was for souls. That's all. Nothing else. I said, Lord, we were going for souls. One of my brothers is already wounded. Today, now. The welcome the people gave us was armored cable. And I went to report to God. This is not good. He saw that I was sincere. He said, okay, let's help him. Then he opened my eyes. Then I saw Northeast Nigeria. So, I don't know how I will say that you will not understand. I want you not to understand. I saw three thrones that heaven had put in that territory to manage the territory. Three of the thrones were empty. That means the occupants of the thrones is either they are dead or they left their duty post. And God now revealed that the reason for the crusade is not about the crusade. It has nothing to do with the event that we are doing. It is so that he can, he can fill up one of those administrative thrones that will bring the witness of God to northern Nigeria. He told me the name of the person that occupied that throne before now. One of the thrones I'm talking about. And that throne has to do with an authority an authority that commands miracles, signs and wonders those of you that know the northeast should have an idea of who I'm talking about the person wandered away from the territory this throne I'm talking about is built into that territory and the last occupant of the throne wandered out of that location and where the person went to it, it is, the person is not dead but is better he more, he's more dead than alive right now. He said, the reason why I quickened you people to come to the northeast is so that I can add authority to your missionary witness by making, giving you access to that throne of miracles. It has nothing to do with Ahmad Kebu and Boko Haram. If you hear from the Holy Ghost, you will know that Satan is a liar. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
today. Charlotte and the other people, they are in Uganda. And they sent me some clips of the administration. We, we inherited that thing from that place. And you see, the proof that we inherited it is it's not only me that oppressed it. So where is Ahmad Kebo in this equation? Ahmad Kebo. Satan will make you worried about the wrong things because you know not. And he will keep you in depression and in bondage just because you don't have help. You are going to languish in that state of despair until the Holy Ghost brings help. He said, I, I, I push you people, push you people so that you can receive authority for the miraculous. So I became conscious of that. We went to Enugu, cripple walk. We went to Oka, cripple walk. We went to Aba, cripple. You will see those people walking. We say, Kai! Then you go and put up a miracle meeting next week. And then people will even die in the midst. Because it was when we went to Enugu, I now discovered. Are you? <laughs> you are not with me, you are not. In Enugu, I prayed for for eyes, and the Holy Ghost told me that one girl's ears opened. I didn't pray for ears; I prayed for eyes. But He told me that someone's ears have opened. So the lady came up. Then we now began to interview her. How did you become deaf? You know how she became deaf? She went for a miracle meeting, and the pastor prayed for her. That's how she became deaf. <laughs> I, I, I will not press on that. I will not press. That. Not press. That's how she became deaf. So, okay, I say I won't press. Let's let's leave that. <laughs> it was a crusade. He went. <laughs> she was. She was hearing before. It was when she decided to go for the crusade. She came back home deaf. And she was deaf ever since. It was that meeting we held. God was in a hurry to heal her. I don't know why. So we prayed for the, for the eyes and her ears. Don't accept until you hear from God. The first thing the Holy Ghost does when he administers grace is that he gives you insight from God's perspective. And if you receive insight from God's perspective, every other thing that Satan has said, you will know it is a lie. You may not know because Satan will be speaking to your flesh. I see you have not paid rent. You'll be casted out. The moment you are out, it will rain. Your television, everything will be destroyed. So it will now begin to look as if that's the plan of God. That God has abandoned you. Then he will say, See, God has left you. He will say, mm. We know not. But the Spirit Himself. He will give you the knowledge that you need. Sometimes he doesn't even touch the situation. He just brings the perspective. And then the situation of lies, they lose authority over your soul. Oh my God. Today we want to pray. Because if anything we need, we, see, we must maximize, we must maximize the presence of the Spirit of God in our spirit. Because God designed man to function by grace. Because of time, no time, no time. We want to just pray quickly and say, Holy Spirit, I surrender. I need your help. Walk in my life. Open my eyes to see things that I do not know.
Bose camise si la cunza mantalia. Bose kabasukle braskito mokoria. There are things that you don't know. It is only when you call unto him that he will answer you and he will sue you. He will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. 